Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with yet another important video. And in today's video, we're going to discuss about the questions that were asked in IBM company. So like I always say, let us thank our subscriber who has shared us these questions and his experience so that it can be of help to others who are preparing. So again, uh, the experience was three to six years. So, so you can uh, consider it as a mid-level to senior level and uh, the company is IBM. So, so the first question that was asked was physical layer versus logical layer difference. I think we discussed this in the last video as well. So this question we have seen uh, three times in the last uh, two interviews. So focus on this kind of uh, you know, questions. Physical versus logical layer. Physical layer is the layer where you actually make joints between two tables by using the conditions like you know specifying the condition uh, what kind of joints you want and all i think i've shown you the last time you can talk about that how you make joints and all so when you uh, talk about that you know expect he might go uh, into joints as well because you are already talking about joints when you are explaining physical versus logical then there is a probability that you know he might ask you on joints as well so i need to just go here and uh, you know this is your physical layer so when you are making it you know you're establishing a join here so automatically different types of joints will come and expect questions on this so focus on what kind of uh, or what will be the output when you are making different types of joints here that is what is more important whereas logical layer is you know kind of uh, relationships between these two Okay, where you are not actually physically making any join, but whenever you bring data from multiple tables, it will automatically try to establish a relationship between them. So this line that you're seeing is called as a doodle here. Okay, so it is trying to establish between this. So I just need to remove this. And automatically it will try to establish a relationship so that that is what you can talk about this in this layer uh, and what is the difference about it next is what is published data source so whenever you are creating a data source here like say you have created this dashboard and you're trying to publish okay so when you click on this publish workbook you you know get different options here okay maybe i'm not connected so it is not showing but once you connect here and when you're trying to publish it will show you different options so one among that is about the data source that you are trying to publish. So whether you want to use the data source that is there in this dashboard with all the dashboards that are present in the server or reports that are present in the server or you want that to be restricted only to this particular report. So basing on that we use you know publish as a data source or you know embed that in uh, this workbook. So when you publish it as a published data source all the remaining workbooks can also use this data source in their workbooks but when you are embedding within this a specific workbook then they cannot use it so simply you are sharing the data source and you're not sharing so i if, if at all i want to generalize that next is how will you calculate ytd and you know previous year till date so i think ytd is very simple and again like i said we need to find out the base date right so always remember when you are writing such calculation we need to find out base date so i am taking my today's date as my base date so if at all i want to find out ytd so what will be our base today right so i need all the so where are we right now we are in june uh, 10th i need all the uh, days of my current year starting from january till june 10th so for that what i am doing year of my order date which is my date field is equal to year of today simply i am restricting my data to my current year that's it right so next what and and what my order date should be less than today that's it if this condition is matching i'm just writing if if this condition is satisfying, then give me sales. That's it. End it. Okay. So you can aggregate here itself if at all you want, or you can aggregate at a calculation level. That also you can do. So I'm just doing uh, maybe to just to show you. I'll just do it here. 
so which and i'm also doing at a month level so that you know you will know till where we are getting the data so we should only get data for 2024 till june right so now if i take this it is still june that is how you need to do okay so now uh same thing you just need to tweak it little bit okay we need to do it for the previous year so we need all the dates from this year and less than uh this one so i'm just duplicating it and i'm just editing it so here i'm just going back to minus one so when i do this what will happen it will go to previous year okay it will go to previous year and uh, if i click on apply so let us just make it previous year till date i'm just copying it let us see what is the result we are getting so we are getting this till uh, less than okay and uh, So if you see here with this condition we went to previous year but because of this condition we are getting all the dates which are less than case uh, less than december so i'm just trying to you know correct that so we need to use date add of year minus one from this as well uh, so that it will go to previous year and less than today so if i apply that we, should, we will get it for this so like this you can solve your current year and previous year calculations okay so how to calculate you know normal year and leap year so one difference is leap year is like you know uh, if i try to take my order date here we have four days when any leap year you take is divisible by four right so we will use that part to find out if it is a leap year or not So I'm just trying to first find out year of my order date. Okay. If that year of order date, I'm doing, uh, trying to find if there is any uh, reminder that I will get with the four. Okay. If, if there is no reminder for this, then it's a leap year for me else non-leap year simple there are multiple ways even you, you can try it using number of days present in an year okay i'm using this method you can paste other methods if you know in the comment section so that users can know whoever is watching so we got only one year leap year 2024 okay that way you can solve again effective calculation very i mean uh very rare scenario that you might get but you should be technically sound to find out or to at least to uh, you know, think how we can get it okay so you, one method is using this you can also use mod function okay if it is uh, available mid function we have mod function you can use in other calculations uh you can use a number of uh, days or you can try to find out using days in february also so if the number of days in February are 29, then you can call that as leap year and on. not. So you need to just, you know, truncate it back to February month and find out number of days in that. So, so using LOD expressions, you can solve and all. So that's about this interesting question. Context filter with scenario again. So you can talk about how the you know, context filter you have used in your project. I think we have, you know, I've created a detailed video on context filter. Again, so this is the, I think, third time that is being asked in last two months about this. And uh, I'll, this is second time this is being asked. This is, I think, two times. Maybe, you know, around Jan, uh, this was asked. YTD and PD, uh, PTD, this is also, I think, uh, I've seen one time. Maybe in last year, we have seen many times in previous companies. But uh, this time, I've heard it for once. Uh, this is again very rare, so I'll give that as one. Examples of fixed and LOD. So this is very, uh, you know, uh, being asked about uh, a lot these days. So 
they are either asking you to write LOD syntaxes. They are either asking you scenarios on LOD, LODs. Okay, so focus more on LOD scenarios, LOD concepts, and LOD examples. So this will help you in you know giving your interview you know in a better manner compared to others because you know we have competitors who are competing with you and they are also watching the this channel and this video as well so you need to you know uh, take your preparation to next level so that you know we can uh, take those extra points by solving this type of questions so again what is dual access we all know dual access right so we have seen again in last interview also it was asked you have separate access for each measure that is there. Like say if I take my region and drop it here, my two accesses are my sales and my profit. If I bring it in, I got it. So this is my two accesses, one for this and one for this. So if at all I want to merge this together, I can use a concept to call as dual access. So two accesses for this. Now, like I said, whenever you are doing it, first thing that you need to do is sync your access so that, you know, it helps uh, in understanding the visualization here. Now you can play with how you want to visualize the data, simple, okay? So that's about uh, dual access, how to calculate again, rolling months. So here user is expecting last 13 months of data from today. So again, let me take order date, and I'll take it at a month level. So we need uh, last 13 months, right? So we are in June, June to June, okay, right? So we need 13 months. Let us try to first find out date difference, okay? So last 13 months. So how can we do here? Yeah, simply we can use a date difference. Again, what is the base date that we can use? Today is the date if we can use. Right, so date difference between my order date, comma, today. Okay, uh, so which part we need? We need to specify that also. We need month part. Okay, so month part of date difference between your order date and today. Here you can write in and you can specify whatever the number is given in 13 means you'll get all this so in zero means current year one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay so i'm just using this click on apply okay i'll just take this and add it on this now see here from June, it is becoming true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we got one month extra. Maybe we need to remove uh, this last 13 one so that you know we get accurate results. That's it. From June till May we got of previous year. Okay, uh, till June we got. Okay, so that way we can solve it now. If at all, only for this condition, I need sales, right? So how can I do that simply? If your date difference between this is this, I'm just writing an if statement on top of this. Then give me sales and it, that's it. So you can either use like this or you can also parameter it. Uh, like less than 13 also I can write multiple ways you can write so I can write it something like this less than or equal to 13 and greater than zero that also you can write okay so that method also you can use but I'm not using it so it's up to you how whatever method you feel right you can use it apply okay Okay, so last third, so we need to convert that into some. So you got last 13 months. So if I remove this, this is your rolling months data. 
okay that way you can solve okay so there were also some questions based on sql so you guys wanted me to cover that so i have 10 products table i need last to purchase data okay so maximum date that you need uh, on the product table that you can get it easy question when you load the data so this question i didn't understood take uh, not to be very frank again rank and dense rank again this also we have seen multiple times sequence of sql execution so i think uh, of the you know uh, four questions that are asked three questions are easy one question i did not understand okay so that's it from you know the questions on ibm i hope you have learned something new if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe and you know give your valuable feedback or comment in the comment section see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day